Yeah, this uh, video um, kind of will go over making that new terrain paint for that Johnson Valley. Just using that one as an example. Um, now, this is the Blender Kit add-on for Blender. It's they have a. This is all part of the free plan. I'm using the uh, free uh, plan they got to get these textures here. Now, this is a mesh plane. Now. Um, Now, well, you could just take a screenshot of this and make that a texture. That's not the ideal way to do it. Um, basically, you want to get the texture as, you know, the best it can be. Um, what you basically do is bake. Bake the texture. You do that in the shading tab. It's the easiest way. Um, now, to bake, you have to have your render, in, render engine set to cycles. And uh, be mindful if you're like me and you delete the light that Blender starts with. I don't use the light. I use HDRI lighting that also comes with Blender Kit that lights the environment based on the uh, the scene. Like for that snow. Yeah, just for an example. Um, you know, it lights it based on what's around it. Um, now I'll use my GPU and when I'm baking I don't ever render that many samples this is what takes a while to make you know when you render it's the amount of render samples and then of course the bake tab is in here you don't get it unless you are in cycles now use some of the videos I've done where you bake from one object to the other in this particular case um, this is just a basically a mesh plane I added that's all I did. I made a mesh plane and I just added a texture to it. Um, so in this particular case I can just add a texture, image texture. And Johnson Valley uses 4K for their base map. So you have to render it at 4K or render it lower and upscale it. And I'll do a combined um, Actually, I'll do, I'll just try to do a diffuse. Diffuse is just the color information, and I'll tell it not to influence it with the lighting. Um, and like I said, this texture bake here, it takes a while. Uh, it takes even longer the more samples that it renders. And what you'll get is your texture over here. Once it's done rendering, and now you save it. Making a texture isn't complicated. It's not as complicated as you might think uh, for PBR. I mean, it is if you do all the bells and whistles, and you know, and you really want it to look really good, but. Just to show you how easy it is to just do something simple like this. Um, I'll make a new folder. Uh, so this will be the base map. And I'll just call it base. I'll do JPEGs since you can't do DDS for PNG. I mean, you can't do DDS for PBR. I'll just do JPEG. You can use PNGs, but honestly I can't tell the difference between JPEG and PNG for terrain paints other than the size that they are and I just have one picture there would be all we need to make it basic terrain paint now I say basic because I mean damn bare bone basic it's just basic it's just basically gonna be that picture that you see there uh, without all the bells and whistles but I can uh, make the video longer and explain how to bake the other maps that make it look better. But this is for people that are in a hurry and they don't they don't care about making the thing look really great. I mean it's gonna look great. I mean ain't what I mean. That's not what I mean to say. 
it's going to look good, but it could look great. So let's go into the world editor, let's go to the terrain painter, and let's just go to the terrain material library that is normally here. I just anchored mine into there, so it's always in the same place. So you can see why I had to bake 4K, because the base texture for this map set to 4K. Now if I was doing the macro and details, and I would render 1024, but that wasn't what I was making. So we'll make a new material, and we'll call it stones. Sure, there ain't already one in there named that. Ground model type. Well, that's gonna be like rocks. Rocks large. I guess that'll work. Um, actually, it's probably more like a cliff. You know, I don't know. But that's what we'll go with. We'll add the material. Now that it's in here, we can add the base color. That's that one we just rendered and saved in here. And that stones folder. Now, that's not enough to get a material. I can save it and show you what'll happen if you try to paint with it now. It's just gonna be black. Because the bare minimum, you have to have at least the base color and in the ambient occlusion, at least the base texture. Now, I'm gonna do this the, 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 uh, the quick way and just recycle that same image. No, it's not a proper ambient occlusion map. But this is for people in a hurry that don't care about all that. Now you just have to adjust the scale because it's default at 256. Uh, so I mean you would be able to see it if you were really far away. But that's not the look I'm going for. I want this to be, you know, correct, so I'll probably do about the stress 16, uh, maybe 8. Yeah, that's kind of, that looks alright, I reckon. Now, if you want it to look better, um, you, know, you can bake some other maps. You can bake the normals and the roughness and the ambient occlusion. But since this is a mesh plane and this is geometrically just a flat object, there's not going to be any ambient occlusion if you bake it. And the roughness, if there was nothing attached to it at roughness, it wouldn't bake anything. But this particular paint or material actually is actually using the roughness so you can bake a roughness now I don't want to bake the others also at 4k I'll just do uh, oh shit I ain't got a choice I do gotta do 4k I don't know what I'm thinking I'm thinking I was gonna get out of some work or some waiting we don't need the alpha channel I always forget to turn that off as far as I know terrain paints can't have uh, any transparencies as far as like uh, but they don't have like alpha channels I don't believe not in a way like other materials can have I mean, you can't put a terrain paint on top of another terrain paint is what I'm saying and see the other terrain paint through the terrain paint so this will be the roughness map here and we'll save it and I'll just call it rough and uh, now what I'll do is I'll invert it here image colors invert and I'll, I'll tell that to be the ambient inclusion or if I'm doing a specular I'll render a roughness and invert it. Uh, but I, I'm not using specular. So we'll just call this AO. And uh, now we change this color space to linear and we'll bake normals. Now we can't bake a height map 
just in the same way we can't bake ambient occlusion because this is flat it's not going to make anything even if you did set the camera up for a proper height map so we're not going to worry about that just remember linear color space when you bake the normals And that'll be all the baking that we do in here. Uh, this, there we go. You see how that's kind of like a lightish purple? You'll always know if you forgot linear because that's going to be a dark purple if you forgot to do it linear. And we'll save it as uh, normals. And sometimes that thing will try to flip-flop on you and go to sRGB. Remember, linear, linear when you bake normals. Now, uh, this is what it would look like if you forgot to put it on linear. See, it's darker. Alright, so in here, so we put the ambient occlusion. Now that we actually have an ambient occlusion, we can replace it with the one that we baked. And the roughness, we'll put the roughness in there. Uh, and it'll save you a lot of time when you know you're going back to the same spot just copy this to your clipboard everything but that first little slash and that way every time you have to go back you can just paste it up there and you don't have to keep going back looking navigating to it uh, normals see how handy that is now since we couldn't properly bake a height map we'll just stick like the roughness map in there the ambient inclusion map but it'll all be fine save changes Now you can see it's got the normals applied to it. It's much more realistic. You can't really appreciate normals until you kind of like, I guess, move the light around a bit. You can kind of see how they go hand in hand. That gives the object a more three-dimensional loop. But anyway, that's it for this. Uh, I'm just showing you how you can just kind of make your texture. Oh, uh, oh, I did mention it. Yeah, the ground model. And just rebuild your collisions, and uh, you can drive on it.